Hello. Today is the 2nd of July 2008 and that means that today is the 40th anniversary of a certain event that took place here in the UK. In this part of the UK it was, uh, well, I was at junior school and it was just approaching midday coming up to our lunch time and everything went dark and when I say dark I mean seriously dark it was night time at midday and along with that we had thunder we had fork lightning of a very serious nature because it did a lot of structural damage here and there we had hailstone the size of golf balls and that's official they were measured and um, on the rain when there wasn't hail and it was torrential. I remember the uh, the lights came on in the school, we all had to stay in our classrooms and the schoolyard got flooded and the rain just kept coming down and pounding against the windows and the roof, we had a flat roof one storey building and it was deafening and uh, our teacher read us a story I seem to recall it was a kind of spooky story probably to keep our attention my mother was at home and she told me afterwards that she hid in the hallway kind of the centre of the house because the windows were being pounded she thought the end of the world had come and um, she just hid there for about half an hour uh, hoping and praying that this storm would pass my uncle was out walking in the countryside there were no houses nearby, no street lighting, so um, when it went dark where he was, he thought he'd gone blind, and uh, he began running, which seems a bit strange, seeing how he couldn't see anything, but uh, what, he was, what he told me afterwards, he just ran in what he figured was the direction of home, um, terrified because he'd suddenly been struck blind, which of course he hadn't, but that's the way it felt. My father was out in his delivery van and uh, he was assaulted by these hailstones that were the size of golf balls, had to pull over. Thankfully no damage, it didn't come through the windscreen or anything. He had his side, I always drove in those days uh, because laws were a bit more relaxed. He drove with the door open so he could jump in and out easily enough. It was a sliding door and uh, the hail just came in so he had to shut the door there and just wait it out. Uh, the meteorologists said afterwards that the reason everything went black was because there was the thickest cloud that has been known in the UK for a long time. The cloud was six miles deep. Uh, this storm was in Bradford, which is a considerable number of miles south of me, and it stretched up to, I think, uh, certainly to Middlesbrough and Stockton, probably up to Hartlepool area. It covered quite a lot of the northeast of England and probably went into the northwest as well. For me as a young child it was yeah a bit scary from what I remember. It was also kind of exciting because it was something different. We'd never experienced this in the middle of the day. And I think it lasted probably an hour or so. So uh, I'm just looking at the newspaper cutting here from the Northern Echo on the 3rd of July 1968. It used to cost five pence. Uh, and it tells about how the countryside was dark and Stockton uh, suffered in the giant hailstones. But it says uh, at York the scene was brighter with sunshine on the city enabling parks and uh, department men to make hay at Clifford's Tower. So they had a sunny day in York, so it missed York somehow because York is between where I was and Bradford. Bradford had the storm, we had the storm, York didn't, so I think it's because York's maybe slightly further east, so that must have been kind of the borderline. It says here, I didn't know this bit actually, just reading the paper, a 70-year-old woman 
was killed by lightning at Northallerton. Skies darkened in several towns and brought night to mid-morning, and rain flooded streets and houses, bringing dozens of calls for help to the fire brigade. Yeah. So, that was an experience. I won't read all of this because, well, I'll be here all day. So I just thought I'd mark the anniversary. If you experienced that storm, leave a comment down here or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if anybody else on YouTube actually remembers the great storm of the 2nd of July, 1968.